Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on Elasticsearch. In our earlier lecture, we saw how to create an index using the document. We also created empty index without document. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create index using settings. So what are these settings? Those things also we are going to see. Apart from that, we are going to see how to delete the existing index. So let's start. Before going to start the index creation process, let's understand some rules. These rules are applicable for the name of the index. The very first rule is we have to make sure the index name is in all lowercase. It should not include the special characters which are listed here. The third rule is we cannot start the index name with either hyphen, underscore or plus sign. There is a limitation on number of bytes for the index. We can create the index name with maximum 250 bytes. If you are using multibyte character in your index name, make sure it is not exceeding the 255 byte. The final rule is index name which starts with dot. The index name which starts with dot are used for internal purpose. So it is not allowed to create custom name, custom index with a dot. Those are kind of deprecated. So having these rules in hand, let's go ahead and create our first index. So there are two ways which we can create the index. Either we can use the development tool which comes with Kibana, which we already saw in our earlier lecture. Or the second option is use the Postman tool. The development tool has advantages because it gives a suggestion. But the disadvantage of the development tool is we cannot store these commands for permanent purpose. However, on the other hand, we can use this Postman tool. By using Postman tool, we can create once and we can use those requests again and again. For example, this get cat or get indices command, which lists the, all the indices present in the system. The same command we can execute here as well. For example, we already created this. If I execute, I'll get the same response. And I can store, I can import, I can share these requests with multiple team members. So this is the good part of this tool. So let's go ahead and use this tool for our demo purpose. So let's understand the few things. We created this customer index in our earlier lecture. Let's see what are the settings. So whenever you create an index, it assigns some default settings which you can access by using command the index name in our case as a customer and then underscore settings. I will execute this request and it gives me the details about the settings. So it has the creation date. It also has the number of shards, number of replicas. So it is setting the default values as one one. Then it has the unique ID and also the provided name. So so as in that you want to create your own settings such as number of shards equal to two, number of replicas equal to three, etc. So how can we create? So in order to create our own settings while creation of index, we can provide this setting attributes. So let's go ahead and create our index with settings option. For that, what I'll do, I will use this existing request with a document. It has the pre-built body which is created earlier. So we'll create a duplicate of this. Go ahead and click this three dot and duplicate it. This is another advantage of this Postman tool. You have to just use a duplicate version and it will carry all these settings. Here, what we have to do is we have to mention settings or you can get rid of the setting option here. And you can provide that in the parameters as well. So let's go ahead in the body. And under the body, what we'll do, we'll provide our first parameter that is setting because we want to create a completely new index. If I use the setting option here, and if I provide the update 
up, uh, the new parameter it will update the existing index with that setting so instead of that let's go ahead and create a completely new index named as a product and then we'll provide the settings to this product index so i providing the setting as a keyword then open and close curly bracket and here we'll name the index then close and curly bracket for the index and under the index i will name the number of shards equal to 2 make sure you are using the proper keywords here and i'll provide the value 2 comma and then number of replicas equal to 3 so i'm just giving some basic information for this setting and once you are done with this all these changes so make sure you are using settings instead of settings and we can execute this command so let's see okay so one more thing so when you create a new index we have to use a put request so make sure you are using put request and send it now the request is processed it's acknowledged and the index name created is product so let's go ahead and verify all the indices so i'm going back to this request and sending it again and now i can see one index is present let's go ahead and check its uh, settings and for that i'll go to the settings and i'll just replace this product customer with product and run this command and now i can see the number of shards are two number of replicas three and the provided name as a product so we got the settings which we were looking for now isn't that you want to increase the replicas so how can we update the setting what you have to do is you to you need to go to this settings and just mention here settings and i'll get rid of this settings i will also remove the the number of shards which are not required assume that you just want to update the number of replicas to five and i will make sure the method is put and run the send command let's go ahead and see our body part here and the request is acknowledged so let's go ahead and check the settings so this was the earlier setting and now i can see the replicas are changed so this way we can update the settings for the index so today we saw how to create an index using settings so i'll just save it by using Control s now what we'll do is we'll drop the index how can we drop that for that let's go ahead and create another request or you can just copy this request by cl clicking this duplicate and here in the post method instead of post method we have to select delete and then we just need to give the index name but before that let's check how many indices present so there are three custom indices present product supplier customer and we are going to delete the customer so let's go ahead and send it so deletion request is sent to the elastic search server let's go ahead and check the indices now and now the customer index is no more available so this way we can delete the index as well so in this tutorial we saw how to create the index using the settings section i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video kindly subscribe this channel and share with your friends thank you again and have a nice time